This week, we talked to Ezra Pasolacqua about his music production experience, as well as talk about the music technology and sound recording class offered here at the high school. I think my influence for producing has kind of changed over time. And, you know, it's the reason I kind of kept doing it is because I keep finding new things I like in different artists. My original inspiration was a YouTube producer named Andrew Huang, who is one of my favorites. And then uh, I got really into Bon Iver for a while. He was one of my favorites. And now, you know, I just kind of look around for all sorts of things I like from different artists. I think when I start the songwriting process, it, it always starts differently, but I find it starts the most easily for me with some chords. One of my favorite producers, Louis Bell, always said, you don't add the drums until the very, very end, because when you add the drums, you start thinking it's a good song when it's not. So I usually go from chords, usually to a melody, and then with that, I start working on uh, lyrics, and then I go back to the drums at the very end. I think the producer's job, especially in a scenario with an artist, is to sit there and nitpick, almost like a film director. Hi, my name's Paul Kinsman, and I teach music here at the high school, and I'm really excited to tell you about a course that runs year-long here called Music Technology and Sound Recording. This course started three or four years ago, and it's bringing some really exciting music to our community here at the high school. In most music courses that people are familiar with, you play musical instruments like the clarinet or the saxophone or the drums. In this course, the computer is your instrument and you add to that whatever you come with in your musical background, be that singing, guitars, drum. Some people come in that have a ton of experience. Some people come in that have taken the course before, and yes, you can take it more than once. Come as you are, you don't need to read music, you just need to love music and have a strong curiosity for it. 